Hello and welcome to my guide of the Koran and Kebos Elite Diary. So the stats requirements are 95 Slayer, 85 Farming, 40 Fletching, 77 Runecrafting, 38 Mining, 38 Crafting, 90 Wood Cutting, 90 Magic, 82 Fishing and 84 Cooking. All of those stats can be boosted as far as I know, even the Slayer one, since you don't need a Slayer task to kill an Hydra. The quest and favor requirements for the Elite Diary are 100% Arceus favor, 75% Hosidius favor and 100% Port Piscarilla's favor. I assume you have 100% in all houses anyway because you have already done the high Heart Diary. Disclaimer, I'm not going to do raids or Scottiso in this guide since I assume that everyone with all the requirements has those already, since old kill count counts. So for example if you have ever done the raid on your account it will count for this diary and it will show it as already done. The required items are a pickaxe that you can use, chisel, axe that you can use, two soul rune, two law runes, two blood runes, some sandworms, a normal fishing rod, a Celastro sapling, eight potato cactus to ensure your Celastro sapling, a spade, a rake, a knife, some food is helpful, a bastion or ranging potion, antidote, super store, some stamina potions, a Xerix talisman, a lunar or draymond staff, then some teleports to a fairy ring, you want your memoirs to teleport around and you want a skills necklace of at least two charges. For the recommended gear, you want to bring something to kill a hydra with, so you need boots of stone and a blowpipe does well, but you can also do it well with a whip. You don't need to kill the hydra boss, you just need to kill the small hydra or one of the small hydras. You can also boost for this task. To start out, you want to teleport to a fairy ring. Then you want to equip your Draymond or Lunar Staff if you don't have Lumbridge Elite. Then you want to configure it to CIS and teleport there. Then you want to run east. And then right around this corner you want to go south. And then you want to go east again. All the way east. Drink a stamina potion once your run energy gets low. Run more east. Climb down right here so you can mine some essence blocks. Right here. You want to mine two blocks. So first block is mined. Once you have two blocks run north. Climb up, run west. Run more west. You want to change both of your essence blocks to dark essence blocks by clicking on the altar. Then you want to drop one dark essence block and chisel the other dark essence block down and pick up the dark essence block again. So you only chisel one down. Change your spell book right here to the RCS one, so you have the RCS spellbook now, then you click on the other side and run all the way around. So we only want to make some blood runes and we need the second dark essence block to make an apatol teleport. That's the reason why we just changed our spellbook to the RCS one. So once you are at the blood altar, click on it to make some blood runes.
Now that we made some blood runes, we teleport with the memoirs to the Arceus house. So once we are here, we run northwest and enter the building with the little fire rune on it and click on the lectern right here, study lectern. And then we can choose the apatol teleport right here. Now we teleport with the memoirs to Piscarillus. And here we run north and then we run east to the fishing spots for the angler fish. Right here we fish some angler fish. Depending on how safe you feel, fish one or two. So once you fish the angler fish, you want to run west again and right in those houses are several cooking ranges. So there's one right there. So just use your angler fish on that one. And that completes this diary task. Now we want to teleport to the woodcutting guild with the five. Then we want to enter right here. And run west. All the way west. Right here we are cutting down a redwood tree, first climb up the ladder of course, I assume you know how this works if you already have 90 wood cutting. So after you mine some redwood logs, teleport to your fairy ring. And once you are at your fairy ring, use the code CIR, so we configure it. C I R teleport and then we run north. We wear our range gear or melee gear, just wear the weapon, climb up, climb up again. By the way, if you don't have the agility level, just run around. But if you, you are like 90 plus layer, because you can boost this, you're probably 63 or 62 agility. So go down here. Just drink your potion, drink your antidote. I think those are poisonous as well. Put on your rigor, jump over here. Run north and kill one of them. They're quite easy to kill actually. I don't even know if they do range or mage damage. I think it's range, right? By the way, you do not need a slayer task for this. You can just kill it off task. So this should complete this task. So then we teleport with our skills necklace to the farming guild. And where's it here? So we just go through this door and go north. And right here we go through this gate. And here's the Celastros tree patch. So we rake it free. We plant our Celastros tree and we pay for our Celastros tree and then we wait until it's grown. While the tree is growing you can't do any other tasks, otherwise this task won't work. Once it's the next day you can go check your tree and it will be grown. Then you chop your tree, get a log from it, 
you use your knife on this Celastro spark and you get yourself a battle staff. And that should be all tasks done. So let's go to Zarek's heart and claim our reward. So right here we can talk to Alice and this right here is the best in slot blessing since it has a prayer bonus of two. So you can see 13, 15, really nice. Also you get a 50k XP lamp so use it on either rune crafting or agility. Since I like CR rune crafting I'm going to use it on agility, really nice. Thank you for watching, thanks and bye.